Hello everyone, uh, today in this video tutorial I will be taking care of a new light sensor, a color sensor specifically and it's a BH1745NUC and to gain more knowledge about this sensor let's have a look over the control everything.com and here we have to search for this particular sensor and let's see what we got for it as you can see it's a digital ambient light and color sensor and also it's uh, the sum of features which are described clearly on this screen you can have uh, the sensor you can purchase the sensor from here also further in this video tutorial i will be interfacing the color sensor BH1745NUC with an Arduino Nano and to get the Arduino code for the interfacing I will be going on the resource tab and here Arduino code sample is here as you can see we can download the Arduino code sample as zip file from here we can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to fit this video and let's see what we got there Now in the connection uh, for the hardware setup, what we require is our sensor that is a digital ambient light sensor and color sensor, it's BH1745NUC and this here is an Arduino Nano. Now this here is an I2C shield which is available on the website controlleverything.com. The real reason we are using this is to make easy connections with other I2C devices. So gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C shield and make a connection. Now this here is a connecting cable. Now this is very useful in making connections with the sensor and the Arduino Nano and the rule we have to apply is to make sure that the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason for the I2C sheet. Now the last part is to power up the Arduino Nano and for that we require a mini USB cable just like that and gently insert it over the power jack. So we are done with all the connections for this setup. Now what do we require is to have a look over the code and let's interface. Now for the interfacing part, uh, what do we require is to have a look over the code Arduino and to get that code uh, we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and here you go and this is the sensor BH1745 and you see and this here is our Arduino code as you can see. Now let's have a look over the Arduino code instructions we need to follow. It says that we have to download and install Arduino software ID on our local machine and this link will help us to install the Arduino and let's have a view over this link so you can have a better perspective regarding the instructions. As you can see you can download the Arduino software from here and it runs on the Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. It's your choice. Now get back to the code so that we can explain it better. As you can see it's a .in extension file. Now as you closely look on the code uh, we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is COX38. Now in the void setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Now coming to the writing part where we are sending commands to the sensor it says that we are selecting mode control register 1 having address COX41 and we are sending the command to set RGBC measurement time 160 and ms that's millisecond now uh, it's 0x00 the second part is uh, we are se selecting mode control is 2 having address 0x42 and we are sending the command to set measurement mode is active and gain equal to 1x that is 0x90 now the third writing command is to select mode control register 3 having address 0x44 and the command here is to set default value that is 0x02 after that we want to get the data from the sensor and for that we having in the void loop we are sending the data as you can see we have a for loop which runs 8 times and we are selecting the data register from the address that is 80 plus i as you can see we are requesting 1 byte uh, for 8 times and reading 8 bytes of data as you can see RGBC data and after that we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the guidelines provided in the data sheet for the sensor that is BH1745NUC at the very end of our code we have the output data on the serial monitor as you can see uh, we need to print as you can see it's a red color luminance green blue clear data as you can see it's all the values are in lux which is the unit for the luminance 
now this is a very simple and generalized code as you can see now what do we require is to have a look over the working the environment or the practicality of this code let's have a look over the practicality now now for the working environment the first thing is to copy this entire code of the Arduino as you can see on my screen and then open up the Arduino here now in this Arduino we have to create a new file and paste the code there as you can see on my screen and then save it by the name bh1745nuc for the reference of the code and then verify and compile the code it's done now upload the code and as you can see the code is being uploaded it's done uploading now what do we require is to see the results on the serial monitor and let's open up it as you can see we have the results on the serial monitor which is the red uh, green blue color and the clear data on the screen is the luminance uh, in the lux as you can see there is not a uh, much change in the values for RGBC now when I uh, put some object over the sensor you can see the changes in the values regarding RGBC value yeah it's decreasing as you can see on my screen when I uh, move the object too near to the sensor instead when I bring a light source near the sensor you can see the increase in the RGBC value for the luminance uh, on the screen it's changing and continuously increasing as I move the light sensor uh, and the object near to each other yeah that's correct as you can see so this is how the sensor responds uh, to the Arduino code along with the Arduino Nano now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits and the applications regarding sensor BH1745 and UC let's have it BH1745 and UC is a digital color sensor IC with I2C bus interface this IC senses red, green and blue light RGB and converts them to digital values the high sensitivity, wide dynamic range and excellent circuit characteristics make this IC the most suitable to obtain the illuminance and color temperature of ambient for adjusting LCD backlight of TV, mobile phone, node PC, tablet PC, portable game machine, PDA and LCD display. This sensor is available on the website controleverything.com and you can purchase the sensor from there. You can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end I would make like to clear everything and for further queries you can have a look over control everything.com you can contact us there and also for comments you can post your comments on community page. For articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor and video you can go to instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this you can have a look over our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.